Hey guys, it's Wasik from TGN and I'm here to give you another writing task video. Today we'll be doing an ILTS writing task 1 process diagram. Okay, now a process diagram on actually my problem face for our students is how many uh, words can I write or how, how can I make this long enough to cover 150 words, right? And also another problem I face or I see people face is uh, they just kind of uh, don't know how to organize it, right? So, it two explanation they will, and of course, I'm gonna write this for you. So, stay tuned and um, let's see what we can do to make our lives easier and get a high band score. All right. Initially, as usual, we have to what? Read the title. So, it says the diagram below shows the stages in the recycling of aluminum drink cans. Okay, fine. Summarize the information so that basic instruction is always gonna be there. Fine. So, let's see. We have the collection center. Uh, transportation so that's one two three four and five steps all right basically and the overall statement in these um, process diagrams it's kind of tricky I like to mention uh, it kind of quite a step high and then key the issue and key the issue right that's the that's the way you want to do that so let's kind of get into the writing and it uh, always task when a key quarter of our mother Paraphrase the question. Hey, below kothara kinto amader jono applicable na. And if we look at where we are writing from, right? Amader kinto below dorkar nai. We have to. We're writing basically niche, of course, a situation. And then when you're writing in the exam, you're gonna be writing on a paper, so you don't need that preposition below. Okay. So the various steps. in recycling aluminum cans okay done now the overall statement overall it can be seen that it is a five step process Starting with cans being collected and ending with new cans. All right. Another thing you guys should understand that you could mention if you want, because it's a cyclical process. Okay, it again the never ending. It again the shesh hai All right, it uh non-stop. So it lasted. All right, align him. I'm a bujai di Okay. And moreover, try to make it simple, guys. Like I said, always task one. I mean, always will be simple and effective so you can get to task two. So I know you guys maybe get tired of me saying that, but it is what it is. All right. Let's go to the uh, paragraphs. And notice a in illustration and we have the collection center. Then it's transported by a little truck to a recycling center. And now we're at the recycling plant. And then it goes in the, the cans, obviously, are what? Put into a drinks machine. And then the process continues. And so I would basically do this um, in two paragraphs, ideally. But uh, let's see what happens. Okay. Now. In the beginning of the process, cans are collected. at a collection center and R. Notice right here it says there's a box for aluminum and there's another box for steel, right? So I want to mention that are sorted according to the material. Either aluminum or steel. Okay, now the boxes are then what? Transported by a little truck to a, you know, I guess recycling, what does it say, Ikane? Uh, recycling center. Okay, good. So let's see what they say. How can we say this? Okay. The cans are then transported by truck to a recycling center. 
Okay, guys, and notice it kind of came through Likate R E. It kind of R E, but I use American English, therefore I write it with E R. Either way works as long as you spell correctly. Okay, now let's move forward. Um, when we are at the recycling center, we can see uh, some compressed, you know, cans, blah, blah, blah. But that one, I have more information, right? But once we look down, we can see it goes to a aluminum recycling plant. Or it kind of shows us what's going on in the recycling center, correct? So here is where we want to use, um, you know, we're going to get some stuff to write, actually. So let's go. At the recycling plant, cans, the old aluminum can, oops, are melted down, and let's see what it says, melted down, right, good, into liquid form. Let's just say liquid metal, right. Um, now, afterwards, that melted uh, aluminum becomes aluminum bars, which are rolled into a sheet, and then the new cans are produced. Okay, so let's go. The liquid aluminum is formed into solid bars of aluminum. which will be processed further okay at home we can see uh there's some more stuff that's going on new cans before new cans we have aluminum roll all right so the roll is going to be a sheet of okay so it's basically what they're doing is they're going to flatten it out and make it into a sheet and then from that sheet they're going to make different you know they're going to make the cans like this. so let's uh, write this the bars of aluminum are rolled into thin sheets so they can be shaped into cans and then once they're formed you know lastly you know basically once they're formed right lastly new cans are made from the sheets right lastly New cans are made from the aluminum sheets. Done. And let's put a comma here. Sorry. From the aluminum sheet. No, I, I don't want to get rid of that. I mean, I mean, if Google really wants me to, I don't really care. But I'm not going to do it. <laughs> made from the aluminum sheets. Take us and let's go now we have the drinks machine and now i'm going to do a little separate because this is a completely different thing it can have me division my division that could work here, right okay now finally the cans are used by various drinks manufacturers And after the cans are filled with beverages, beverages, finally the cans are used by various strings manufacturers. And after the cans are filled with beverages, they are placed into vending machines. Now, remember that little part that I said, which Mona said that it's a cyclical process, right? And basically, I mean, I'm other a Jinish Tabar Shuruhabe. This whole process is going to start again. Okay, so let's go. Um, after being consumed, the cans are discarded and the process begins again 
All right, after being consumed, the cans are discarded and the process begins again at the collection center. Let's just finish it off like that. Good. Um, now, let's do a quick word count and see how many words this is, right? Uh, Hundred and sixty one words, okay? So more than enough for ILTS, and we don't need to go too crazy because again I always say this task two is waiting. And I'll be doing videos about task two coming soon. Alright. Um this is a very quick writing of mine. I didn't really put too much thought into it because there's not that much thinking to do here. You just have to report what's in front of you. And it has also simply Amra explain quote the barbu. Totuibhalo. So make sure up another writing ta you know simple effective and make sure tense you know you want to follow the correct tense because it kind of um, i'm describing a specific process right so it's going to be present and it, it basically i don't want you guys to mess up on tense because i see a lot of students face a lot of problems with the tense and hey it should be easy i don't want you to lose marks take it so stay tuned for more videos um i think task one is about done basically so we'll start task two coming soon and I hope you guys do well on your ALTS exams, and see you later.